today's video lecture we are going to talk about cholinergic drugs as you all know cholinergic drugs are really very important from the exam point of view also as well as to understand the clear concepts of cholinergic drugs action first we are supposed to understand the system on which cholinergic drugs are acting so to understand the system first we'll see the classification of the system as you all know pns is divided into somatic nervous system and ans Aut autonomic nervous system now this ans is further subdivided into two systems first is sympathetic nervous system sns and other is psns that is parasympathetic nervous system so sympathetic nervous system is also known as adrenergic system and parasympathetic system is also known as cholinergic system now why it is so here in the cloud i have written system neurotransmitter and receptor so to understand the action of drug we need to understand the systems on which they are working the systems are SNS and PSNS adrenergic system and cholinergic system that is SNS S stands for sympathetic nervous system and PSNS PS stands for parasympathetic nervous system so these are the systems on which cholinergic drugs are acting now coming towards the neurotransmitter the neurotransmitters are acetylcholine for parasympathetic system and noradrenaline for sympathetic system so to remember this neurotransmitter i'll give you a short trick that this box is showing you the neurotransmitter plus systems now this trick is very very essential to remember the system as well as the neurotransmitters involved in the system so na sympathetic ach parasympathetic now why i have written it like this the trick is no sympathy for system no sympathy for arrogant people no sympathy no is for noradrenaline sympathy is for sympathetic system arrogant is for ach aa people is for para pp so no sympathy for arrogant people no is noradrenaline sympathy is sympathetic p p people parasympathetic arrogant a a acetylcholine so why this trick is needed because many a times even after the completion of topic we even don't remember that which neurotransmitter is involved in which system and we are not even able to answer the neurotransmitters involved in the respective systems so from this you will remember no sympathy that means no adrenaline in sympathetic system and arrogant people a ach p parasympathetic so acetylcholine in parasympathetic system so as you can see here parasympathetic is also known as cholinergic since the neurotransmitter involved is acetylcholine this ach acetylcholine is abbreviated as capital a capital c small h ach and adrenergic because the neurotransmitter involved is noradrenaline adrenal so this is called as adrenergic system now these are further subdivided the drugs which are acting on the system are further subdivided based on the system so adrenergic system we are going to see in detail in our next video lecture here we are focusing on parasympathetic system so the drugs which are acting on parasympathetic system are again subdivided into two first is parasympathomimetic and parasympatholytic so mimetic is mimicking that means mimicry so they mimic the same actions as that of acetylcholine so acetylcholine is the parent neurotransmitter mimetics are the drugs which shows the action similar to acetylcholine parasympatholytic lytic means to cut 
so these are the drugs which cut the action of acetylcholine so these are the drugs which show similar action and these are the drugs which cut the action of acetylcholine parasympathomimetics are also called as cholinergic agonist and lytics are also called as cholinergic antagonist now mimetic drugs will see in detail in classification before going to lytic drugs so mimetics are again further subdivided into two that is direct acting parasympathomimetic and indirect acting parasympathomimetic so direct acting as the word suggests direct that means they directly bind to the receptor muscarinic and nicotinic receptor and they show their action or they increase the availability of acetylcholine at the site of action by various mechanisms for example they inhibit the enzyme acetylcholine esterase which is responsible for degradation of acetylcholine into choline and acetic acid so what is this we will see in detail in next topic that is receptors so this was the trick which we have already seen now these are the receptors involved in parasympathetic system the receptors are muscarinic receptors and nicotinic receptors now here also again how you will remember that muscarinic and nicotinic receptors are involved in parasympathetic system para hai to muska lagana hai para hai to muska lagana hai parasympathetic muscarinic and nicotinic so now muscarinic receptors are again further subdivided into five types m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m1 to m5 and nicotinic receptors are again further subdivided into two that is nm and nn nm is moti nikita and nn is nati nikita moti niketa nati niketa so nicotinic receptors nm nn so as the nm nms are acting at neuromuscular nm junction of sm skeletal muscles and they are responsible for stimulation of skeletal muscles contraction of skeletal muscles then nn that is nati nikita is acting on autonomic ganglia ganglia it is responsible for stimulation now muscarinic m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 we will see m1 m2 m3 only because they have their marked pharmacological actions compared to m4 and m5 now m1 m2 m3 m4 if you will see m1 m4 m1 m3 is e1 and m2 m4 they are m1 m3 it is odd and m2 m4 they are even numbers so m1 m3 since they are odd numbers they are stimulatory in nature m2 m4 since they are inhibitory even even inhibition even inhibition and they are mediated by g protein coupled receptor their actions through gi so again i inhibitory so whatever the even number receptors are there that is m2 and m4 will have all inhibitory actions now why inhibitory actions because this g protein coupled receptors gi are responsible for influx of potassium which causes hyperpolarization and decrease in heart rate in turn why decrease in heart rate because of the location of the receptors so location and actions we will see in detail in next next page m1 and m3 these are stimulatory in nature of <coughs> these are stimulatory in nature m1 m3 since odd their action is mediated through gq receptors st which stimulates the intracellular calcium influx and which is responsible for depolarization 
which increases the secretion as well as neurotransmission. Now, thank you.